morning rise and shine. I hope this week you have a closer walk with the Lord. Hope you enjoy this jazz version of Just a Closer Walk with Thee. I really like this myself. Didn't know they could get that much music out of a trombone. That is absolutely beautiful. The words too, just a closer walk. I am weak, but thou art strong. The Apostle Paul going through a very difficult time in his life, asked the Lord three different times Please remove this thorn in the flesh, this point of irritation in my life. Please remove it. And God said, no. God said, if I remove it, you'll become big headed and haughty and proud. But he said, my grace, this is what God said, is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect. And this displayed the most perfectly when you're the weakest. So Paul would say, in my weakest, in my weakness, and in my weakest moment, I am the strongest for Christ because it's not me. It's God working in and through me. I'm weak, but thou art strong. Jesus, keep me from all wrong. I'll be satisfied as long as I walk. Let me walk close to thee. I'm not suggesting, not even a little bit, that you settle for a life of mediocrity or settle for a life of hurt when you could be healed or anything like that. I'm just saying when you're going through something and you've asked God to change it in your life and at this moment it's still not changed, remember that God said to Paul, my grace is sufficient for you. 
Charlotte often says, what is it you say about a truck backing up to your door every day? First thing in the morning, the Lord backs up that big truck of mercy and dumps it, a whole load of it, right at our front door. <laughs> and he does it just for me. Why would he pick on you to do that? Because I'm one of his favorites. <laughs> <laughs> but you are too, you know. <laughs> You mean he shows you favor? Yes, he does. Now, I know you're hurting right now. Oh, my. But he shows me such favor. <laughs> you and, didn't buy into that, did you? Oh, my, no. And one of the biggest ways he shows me favor is what you were preaching about yesterday, about no condemnation. And he has every reason uh, to condemn me because I'm chief of sinners. You're what? I am the chief of sinners, but I am, I have been forgiven. That's what Paul said. That's right. And so uh, that's why I'm one of his favorites, <laughs> because I'm forgiven. <laughs> Paul had a thorn in the flesh. It wasn't a thorn in his spirit it was in his flesh and the bible says walk not after the flesh but after the spirit so it's very possible to be absolutely healed have perfect healing in your spirit perfect power in your spirit perfect fellowship and anointing in your spirit man between you and the lord mm -hmm. and still be hurting in the flesh Mm -hmm. You get it? I do. Someday that'll all be changed. We'll have a new body. This is all temporary. It's all temporary. But while we're facing obstacles in the flesh, we can rest in the fact that God has said, my grace is sufficient for you. May the grace of God be enough for you today. When you don't have anything but the grace of God. That's all you need. <laughs> That's more than enough. Amen. And that will help us have a closer walk. That's right. Would you say a little prayer for us? Sure. Precious Father in heaven, we are so grateful for your love and your mercy and your grace and your favor. Mm -hmm. I thank you, Lord, that through it all, mm -hmm. we have your presence with us. I thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness. Mm -hmm. I thank you that we can have a closer walk with you, as close as we want it to be. Mm -hmm. I praise you for that. And so I pray that this week, at the beginning of this week, Monday morning, that you would just bless each person listening to this with your peace and your joy and your favor and your blessing. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Uh, let's take them out of here with a little more of just a closer walk, Sherry. Beautiful prayer, Charlotte. Hey friends, remember we love you at Mountaintop Ministries. Share with your friends today. There's literally, when you add up all the friends that you have, you know, and you're watching here and your friends what we're doing, share with your friends today and tell them, go right in today and watch Rise and Shine. Be encouraged and be blessed. And you'll be doing missionary work for the Lord. Okay? So uh, have a great one. We love you. Thanks for your comments and your likes. Thanks. Uh, all the glory be to God. All the glory be to God. So have a good one. See you later. Bye-bye.